our little investigation. Paimo wouldn't ever come anywhere near this place. Huh? Hey, look! There's someone over there! Oh! Traveler and Paimon? I didn't expect to see you two here. Yanfei? Shouldn't you be at work in Lele Harbor? What are you doing out in the middle of nowhere? Well, to be perfectly honest, this case is a little out of the ordinary. In fact, this is the first time I've ever witnessed the bottom of the chasm. Oh, but before I forget, could you do me a favor, please? If anyone happens to ask about me or my present whereabouts, just tell them you haven't seen me. Huh? What are you talking about? No, no, it's not like that. Uh, look, it's quite a long story. So if you could, please just cover for me. I'll see you later. Hey! And there she goes. What in Tevet was that all about? I'm on starting to feel nervous all of a sudden. Uh, do you think she did something illegal and now she's gone into hiding here? <gasps> or maybe something super scary happened? Don't be so naive. The world is complicated these days, you know. We should be prepared for the worst. If something really did happen, we might find ourselves becoming our accomplices. Oh, what a dilemma. Should we really cover for her? Oh, hey, you over there! Yeah, you! Ah, someone's coming! But that voice sounds pretty familiar. Ah, <laughs> it's you two. So, uh, what are you two doing in a place like this, huh? Wait, don't tell me. Hmm, you're on vacation. I must say, you two are looking pretty good. Things been going your way lately? Cause I have been doing amazing. <laughs> uh, Ito? Who's that behind you? Hey there, I'm with the Arataki gang. Kuki Shinobu, nice to meet you. Oh, <laughs> all right. I almost forgot she was back there. Let me introduce you to Shinobu, the pride and joy of the Arataki gang. Oh, another member of Ito's gang. Let me tell you, she's one of Hana Mizaka's best and brightest, so of course she's in the gang. Shinobu takes care of practically everything in the Arataki gang. She can protect you guys too, you know. A friend of the boss is a friend of mine. You must be the traveler in Paimon. Yep, yep. Nice to meet you too, Shinobu. The pleasure's mine. I have a feeling that we'll be working together soon enough. So, uh, Ito, if she's the takes care of everything in the gang, then doesn't that kind of make her the gang's real boss? <sighs> Are you kidding? Of course I'm the boss. To the four corners of Tevat, there is only one boss of Hanamizaka's legendary Arataki gang, a me. Uh, okay. Paimon gets the dynamic now. A useless boss with an ultra-capable subordinate. Hey, you... Uh, uh, you know what? Forget it. The average person couldn't possibly understand the dynamics of the Arataki gang. As the leader, I can't let myself stoop down to your level. <clears throat> anyway, have you seen a pink-haired legal, uh, mage lady? Wears a goofy hat, knows everything, kind of short. Uh-oh. Her name's Yenfei. She's a legal advisor from Liyue. I thought perhaps you two would know her. No, we haven't seen her. We don't know this person at all. <laughs> Aha, so you have seen her. Uh, no, what gave you that idea? Paimon didn't say anything. Aw, oh, look at you getting all antsy. <laughs> Seems I was able to get to the truth after all. When someone is lying, their eyes often start wandering subconsciously. <laughs> anyway, don't worry. I assure you we don't have any ill intentions. So, uh, you guys know Yanfei? Well, she, uh, kind of saved my life, so... Yeah, you could say we've met. She saved your life? Wait, hold on. What are you 
two doing in the chasm anyway? You know that the Sakoku decree has been lifted recently in Inazuma, right? Well, Shinobu wanted to come to Liyue and pick up her graduation certificate. I came along because it's safer to travel in numbers. Graduation certificate? Did you study in Liyue? Yes. I studied law at the Tongwen Academy in Liyue. Unfortunately, the Sakoku decree was implemented just when I was home visiting my family before graduation. So I'm a few years late getting my graduation certificate. We were taking care of some errands in Liyue, and the boss got tangled up with some millilith while we were standing in a line. He was about to get arrested when, luckily, Yenfei happened to be walking past and helped us out. Yep. If it wasn't for her, our trip to Liyue would have ended with me in the slammer. <laughs> So, you know, I just wanted to do something nice to show my heartfelt gratitude. But, she said she didn't need my help with anything. I thought there's a chance she might run into trouble here on her own, so I followed her here. Yeah, just in case she needs me to come leaping to her rescue. <laughs> Listen, Granny said that a man must learn to be grateful, and I'm gonna help this legal advisor lady no matter what it takes. Uh, that's nice and all, but what if she really doesn't need your help? <laughs> You're joking, right? I mean, that's not possible. Of course she needs my help. <clears throat> Traveler. That way. Ah, great. Thanks. I'll go after her. Shinobu, time to roll. You're not my savior. Ito's coming to your rescue! Appreciate the help. Until next time. Uh, Traveler, did you just send Ito the wrong way on purpose? Huh. Shinobu seemed pretty sharp. Paimon doesn't think you can pull one on her like that. Or maybe she knows that Ito can be a big nuisance, so she's trying to stop him from bothering Yanfei. Oh, if that's the case, then wow, she really knows how to call the shots! Well, at least this way nobody will be bothering Yanfei. If we run into her again later, we should let her know that we helped her out. Hmm. Alright, now let's go take a look at the crash site from last time. Thanks a lot. The guy with the weird outfit seemed super outgoing. Normally I don't mind making friends, but I've got work to do today. Oh? Huh? So what kind of work are you doing in a place like this? Aw, oh, don't tell Paimon you're thinking about becoming an adventurer too. Well, as a legal advisor, sometimes I also have to travel in person. I came to the chasm to deal with a will. A... Uh, a will? That's right. I found a will inside an old book. I'm guessing it was left by someone of great importance. It appears he lost a magical device and wished to retrieve it. Paimon didn't know legal advisors have to deal with that kind of thing. Huh, what a job! Will execution is also part of my work as a legal advisor. Of course, cases like this are quite rare. The chasm is not the kind of place you can just waltz into whenever you want. Oh? So you do know what kind of place this is. <gasps> Who's that? Ah, I thought I might find you here. Whatever case you're working on in the chasm, I'm sure Liyue's top legal consultant can handle it without my input. <laughs> That's funny. I thought we'd established that my legal opinion doesn't count for anything when Yelon's around. Uh, who is she? This is Yelon. Liu is, uh... Well, let's just say she works in the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I can at least say that much, right? Anyway, she's a friend of mine. Sure. Coincidentally, I have something to do here as well. 
Seems chance has brought us all together. You may not know me, Traveler in Paimon, but I've certainly heard about you. You're all here on business, and it's my job to monitor the chasm. According to regulations, I should accompany you. But, as it turns out, I have other things that require my attention. I'm afraid I can't join you this time. You may go about your business. Just try not to make a ruckus. Oh, that's most unfortunate. I was about to ask for your assistance. Could you spare a little time to help me take care of this will? For old time's sake? Hmm, I don't know. Depends what's in it for me. <laughs> Fair enough. I suppose even a guide needs to get paid. It just so happens that Madame Ping gave me some nice tea. I'll treat you to a cup if you agree. <laughs> Why don't you tell me a little more about how you got here first? Then I'll... Hey, you! Uh, Ito? What is he doing back here? I know what you two did. You really tried to throw me off, didn't you? <laughs> and I thought we were buds. That's close enough. Huh? Who are you? Sorry, this area is part of the chasm. It's closed to the general public. Are you kidding me? I, I, I don't see any warning signs or fences. What gives you the right to keep me out? <laughs> Kid, where there's real danger, you'll never see a warning sign. Uh, Paimon never knew this place was so important. It's true. This is not a place you can just go in and out of as you wish. That's also why I didn't want anyone to follow me. Unfortunately, you didn't listen. The Traveler has done a lot for Liyue in the past. And Yenfei is a renowned legal consultant in Liyue, so I can trust their intentions. As for you two... <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're trying to say that I'm not famous enough and my intentions are no good? I don't know your background, so I can't give you free passage here. Besides, Yenfei doesn't seem to need your help, does she? Ha! How would you know what Yenfei needs? What, are you two joined at the hip or something? Right. Anyway, I don't need to be a mind reader to see that. In any case, as a visitor from Inazuma, I'd suggest you defer to a local when in doubt. Stick to the local rules and keep yourself out of trouble. <laughs> Why, you? Please, try not to be so impulsive. She is right, you know. Uh-oh. Things are starting to get a little heated here. Oh, not good. He really shouldn't start butting heads with Yelon. It's true that we don't know anything about the unique conditions of this place, so we'll heed your advice and leave immediately. But if this really is a dangerous area, seriously, you should put up a sign. Thanks for the suggestion. Oh, consider it. Oh yeah? And what if we don't leave, hmm? Boss! Then, I'm afraid things might get... unpleasant. Is that so? You really think you can take the two of us? <laughs> Gotta admit, I like your optimism. Although you're friends with the Traveler and Yenfei, I'd still suggest you heed my warning. <laughs> Thanks for that, but, uh, too bad I'm not buying it. If you're so strong, then why don't you show me what you got? Hold on, boss. There's no need to start a fight here. Oh, no. I'm going in whether she likes it or not. <laughs> you think I was joking around, huh? Oh, no. These two are about to go at it. <laughs> Please, wait a minute, you two. This whole thing started because of me. Why don't you just save me the embarrassment and just... <laughs> uh oh it's a... <laughs> hey, stop trying to change the subject. I'm gonna... Uh, 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 huh? Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> Ouch! <sighs> what happened? Uh, oh, hey! Are you all right? Uh, ow. <sighs> Putting my books under me to break the fall didn't help at all. <sighs> <sighs> this place. Uh, where are we? Uh, 
gonna feel that in the morning. <sighs> hey, Shinobu, traveler, and my savior. Is everyone okay? <sighs> well, this is an unfortunate turn of events. Hey, so, uh, how far down did we fall? Hmm. It seems the ground collapsed during our little confrontation up there. Perhaps because we triggered the elemental forces. Well, don't look at me. If you weren't so rude, maybe I wouldn't have gotten mad. <sighs> Who can put up with that kind of dude? It's my duty to stop intruders from breaking into important places. If telling the truth sounds rude, then I'm afraid you're just a little too fragile. Hey, life's too short to give in all the time. Boss, I'm afraid you're not going to win this argument. I suggest we stop provoking her. Hey, whose side are you on here? I'm simply pointing out the facts. I understand how you feel, but you're making my life difficult by starting random fights with everyone. <laughs> Looks like Ito can't argue against either Yelon or Shinobu. He's in a real tough spot now. Whoa, whoa, what do you mean? Are you looking for a fight too? Paimon was just saying how it is. Everyone knows you're a bit of an idiot. You calling me an idiot? Oh yeah? Well, you're a, a puny little flying lavender melon, ha! Huh? Flying lavender melon? Oh, that's it! Paimon's mad! Time to give you an ugly nickname! Uh, Bull Chucker! Mm. You better mind your manners, bull checker! We seem to be a long way down from where we fell. It's impossible to see what's going on up above. <sighs> it's unlikely we'll be able to climb back up that far. We'll need to find another way. I'm sorry to interrupt your lovely little chat here, but I think there's something you may need to know. The chasm is regarded as a mysterious area in Liyue. It was sealed off for years due to a mining accident. Whatever goes on down here, I suggest you remember this. You didn't see anything, you didn't hear anything, and you're not gonna ask any questions. Save you from getting caught up in things you shouldn't know about. I won't treat you as hostiles, and in exchange, I hope you won't make things difficult when it comes to keeping secrets. I'll do what I can to find a way out. Huh? Well, where does she think she's going? Like she said, to search for an exit. Chances are that Yelon is the best among us at survival and handling emergencies. We should just let her go. I'm afraid I must apologize. I don't typically disclose details of a client's will to third parties, which is why I couldn't tell you the truth. <sighs> I'm sorry. I came to the chasm in search of the Fantastic Compass, which is mentioned in the will. Many years ago, my client gave this magical device to someone ambitious, hoping that it'd be handy in times of need. According to an eyewitness account, the person who received the device took it into the chasm and has been missing ever since. Throughout history, many wars have been fought in the vicinity of the chasm. Even if that person died in one of the wars, I still wish to do my utmost and find the device and fulfill the client's wish. Yelon's words of caution were not unwarranted. There are dangers lurking in the chasm. I'm sure you've all realized that by now. Given that we're all caught in this mess, let's try to find a way out together. Whatever you say, my savior, I'll do whatever you ask. From now on, we're a team, all of us. And as for that big jerk, well, I guess that includes her too. You said Yelon works for the Ministry of Civil Affairs, huh? Paimon can tell she's tougher than most, but... Wow. Her job sounds demanding! Well, that's what she tells outsiders. I can't disclose too much about her identity, but I'd say she's the only person who can handle this type of work. What kind of lame job would have someone go out to the middle of nowhere? Oh, Paimon knows! An adventurer! Hey, what's with the face? Oh, did Paimon say something wrong? That's literally what the two of us do, isn't it? Uh, you're so stingy these days! Oh, just let Paimon be an adventurer by association, okay? Yeah, 
Yeah, she's got a point, Traveler. You're Paimon's boss. Take it from me. As a great leader, you should learn to be a little more generous. You know, let your sidekick share some of the glory. Ugh, you really don't understand anything about us. Paimon, don't take him too seriously. He's just joking. Ugh, for the sake of Shinobu, fine. <laughs> I'm the boss, so I'll let it slide. Hmm. Perhaps this was another sealed location, but an undocumented one. What could be in here? I've got some food and water on me. If anyone needs some, just let me know. Great! You know, Bull Checker, you may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but your subordinate here seems super capable and reliable. <laughs> I know. Isn't she the best? What? Hey! I am too a sharp tool! There seems to be an entrance up ahead, with a path inside. Wonder where it leads to? Well, let's go take a look! Domain entrance in a place like this. If there's a way in, then there's a way out. Let's go and take a look. The rocks here seem to be old Leo mountain rocks. They're similar to what I've seen in books. This domain must have existed for quite some time now. <laughs> What's that sound? <sighs> Conqueror of Demons? What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, uh, I came down from above. Uh, I heard a noise, so I followed it here. So you're not here by accident. Hmm. Wanna team up? No, I have something else to do. I'm looking for someone. You shouldn't be here. I would urge you to go back as soon as possible. without a trace. Huh. That guy looked pretty tough. Maybe almost as tough as me. Seems like a solid dude. Seriously, Bullchucker? Where do you get your confidence from? Should we really be letting him go off on his own? Oh, he wouldn't listen no matter how much you tried to talk him out of it. He is super tough, though, so don't worry about him. Everyone, keep your eyes and ears peeled from here on out. We don't know what lies ahead. So we have to be ready for anything. Oh, look. I'm happy to say we're all on the same team and everything, but, uh, could you cut the little speeches and the whole follow the leader act? I, for one, think I should be able to look after myself. Boss! Ugh, okay, okay. Besides, Yelon is just looking out for everyone. You know, Bullchucker, you're a guest here, so maybe try to get along with everyone. Ha! <laughs> Please, you're not a local either, Flying Lavender Melon. So stop trying to sound like one. Labyrinths like this are unique to Liyue. Wow. This place is actually pretty cool. If we weren't in such a hurry to get out, we could kick back and enjoy the scenery a little. Here's back! All these twists and turns remind Paimon of the Adepti domains we've been to before. Could there be an Adeptus here?
I got you cooked! <laughs> Adept's back! Be still! Take me! Ha! Illusion shattered! This ain't right. Uh, how did we end up back here? So we've been here already? Yes, this is exactly where we started. But we couldn't have taken a wrong turn. We were headed in the same direction the entire time. We never turned around. Yes, that's what I thought too. Traveler, we were going the right way, weren't we? How strange. There's a legend in Inazuma about a merchant who was tricked by a Bake Danuki one evening and kept circling around the same place the whole night. Even by dawn, they still hadn't found a way out. Yeah, Paimon's heard that one before too. So we're all familiar with the story then? Good, because I'm pretty sure that's what's happening to us right now. But fear not, I happen to have a certain sidekick who can exercise yokai and spirits and whatnot. Let me summon him real quick. Unbelievable. An Oni who's friends with an exorcist? Huh. What an open-minded guy. For the boss, ignorance is a virtue. You're up, Ushi. Go get that spirit. <laughs> this is Ushi, an auxiliary member of the Arataki gang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ushi says hello, everyone. You can just call him Ushi or Beefcake. Yeah, he's got a keen sense of direction, so I'll let him lead the way. <laughs> I didn't know gangs could have auxiliary members. This does not have the trappings of something that's gonna work. <laughs> You're telling me. All right, go, Ushi. Go find us a way out of here. <laughs> Huh? What's that? Oh, really? Oh, no way. What's wrong? Ushi says he searched everywhere, but there's no exit. That doesn't add up. If we were able to come in, then there must be a way to get out. Here, let me take another look. Has anyone else noticed this? We initially thought we fell here from above. At that time, there was a way out high overhead. But now, it seems even that exit has disappeared. Inexplicable, if you ask me. It seems there's more than meets the eye with these underground structures. Hmm. I'm gonna take another look around. Everywhere we look, there are just more and more rocks! Uh, maybe we've just misremembered. Maybe this isn't the place we started from. What? You scared now? No, Paimon's super brave. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, Ushi also thinks you're scared. It's okay, don't be scared to admit you're, uh, <laughs> scared. You've got us here to protect you. We can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs. Let's keep looking for a way out. Shinobu, you stay here with my precious savior. I'll take the traveler and Paimon with me. Got it. Be careful, everyone. Please, there's no need to keep calling me savior, just Yenfei is fine. Mr. Arataki, it seems that as the head of the Arataki gang, you possess a strong, 
sense of leadership. Ah, too kind, too kind. And just call me Ito. Since we're a team now, we should have each other's backs. Uh, Paimon, if you feel scared again, I can cover your eyes for you. <sighs> Seems there's really no way out. <sighs> I can't shake the feeling that there's something off about this place. Boss, did you guys find anything over there? Not only that, I could have sworn I saw some shadows moving a second ago. <sighs> this place better not be haunted. Probably not the right time to ask this, but Paimon just can't help it. Ito, you're an Oni. Doesn't that kind of mean everywhere you go is haunted? Uh, no, I ignore the red horns, okay? I I'm talking about spooky, floaty ghosts, now you see them, now you don't kind of haunted. Uh, Ito, are you afraid of ghosts? Oh no, boss. You've been found out. What? Me? <laughs> no way! What? Are you kidding? <sighs> Stop choking around. Uh... Seriously, though. <laughs> Looking at you, Paimon suddenly doesn't feel scared anymore. Hey, Bullchucker, if you're scared, Paimon can cover your eyes for you. Ugh. <sighs> Maybe I should make better use of my time. Add a little salt and some pepper. Yeah, roasted lavender melon is delicious. You can try some when it's done. Oh right, there are two types, sweet and savory. Which would you prefer? Alright, you can try them both then. It's important that we remain calm. Especially when we're in the throes of a tough situation like this. If I'm reading the situation correctly, there seems to be some secret here that the boss and I are not supposed to know about. But don't worry. I'll distract the boss while you discuss things with the others. Oh, I thought I smelled something cooking. Would you like some, Yunfei? Thank you, but I'm not hungry. You guys go ahead. Oh, and by the way, I haven't seen you in a while, Shinobu. Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? The last time I saw you was when you taught one of my classes as a substitute while I was studying in Liyue. Substitute teacher? Ah, yes, now I remember. It was during winter, wasn't it? Yes, I remember everyone said your lecture was very interesting. Now that I think about it, I should call you senpai. Ooh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> <sighs> Who would have ever guessed that we'd get caught up in such a dilemma together? It must be fate. Not only that, she's funny and engaging while she speaks. Needless to say, she's very popular among the students. <laughs> oh, I'm flattered. <sighs> I see everyone is still here. Yelon. We split into groups and searched the area, but there are no signs of any way out. How about you? Did you manage to find anything? No. And, though I'd prefer not to say it, we'd better mentally prepare ourselves. If we can't find a way out, we may be stuck underground for some time. <sighs> I think you might be right. I understand. Hmm. <sighs> An underground space with an entrance, but no exit. It just doesn't make any sense. I'll figure something out. Just give me some time. If anyone happens to find a potential exit, please be sure to take every precaution before exploring further. Hey, Traveler! What's with the serious face? Do you have a plan? Yeah. All right! Do you want to get in to help us? Sure! Let's give it a shot! Huh. Huh. No response. Paimon thought Xiao would come no matter where we are. Oh no, does that mean even Xiao can't sense our presence here?
that's it. I want to take another look. And this time, I, Arataki, uh, the one and only, will... Boss! Whoa, whoa, what's up, Sourpuss? Time for some roasted lavender melon. Huh? We're trapped in a life and death situation underground and you're telling me it's time for roasted lavender melon? <laughs> Interesting. You hear that? Ushi says you're completely right. Wait, hold on. Whose side are you on, Beefcake? It's important to stay replenished. We must keep our energy and morale up in preparation for facing the unknown. Even Ushi knows that. Fine. You two are... Hey, are you already eating? Well, hold on. Is it still warm? Oh, that does smell good. Hmm. Fine. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll just we'll have a quick snack and then we'll uh, and then we'll keep looking for a way out. Hey, don't eat them all. Leave a couple for me. Hmm. <laughs> Who could have ever guessed we'd get trapped in a place like this? It's quite the predicament. For all the studying I've done in my life, all I know is how to land people in prison. I don't know the first thing about breaking out of one. I've even made a contract with my father to live a happy life. I can't give up hope now. Try and stay positive. At least I've explored a new place and seen more of the world while reuniting with some old friends. <laughs> yeah, there's still a silver lining, I guess. Our situation is grim. There doesn't appear to be a way out for now. We should be prepared to stay for a while. Fortunately, we don't seem to lack supplies, and even our motley crew has people who can keep their cool when the stakes are high. Just focus on taking care of yourselves. I'll figure out the rest. <laughs> Everybody stand! You're toast! 
Quietly now. Here comes the cat. Illusion shattered. Torn to oblivion. You win. Cut down. Push your luck. Cool it. <laughs> 